Diabetes Alert Day is a one-day wake-up call, if you will, asking the American public to educate themselves about this disease, about its symptoms and ways to prevent it. This year it falls on March 29th, this Thursday. And joining us this morning is Allie Miller, dietitian with Lifelong Way, and she's here to help us with a quick snack recipe for diabetics, but also to tell us a little bit about diabetes. And a lot of people have described it really as an epidemic. Absolutely. The rates are rising. Uh, we have right now 27 million Americans, uh, women, both children and adults, that have diabetes. And over a third of them are unaware of the fact that they have diabetes. Mm -hmm. So the awareness of uh, alert is a big deal. Yeah. Now, when you have diabetes, you have to really watch what you eat uh, to maintain your, your balance of your blood sugar and so forth. So um, what kind of foods do we need to, to focus on? Well, when I look at diabetes, it's the body's inability to manage sugar, right? So it looks at what the timing of eating. So when you're not eating, it's relying on the liver to make sugar for your body. Mm. So sometimes not eating frequently enough can be a big causation factor, as well as the foods you do eat, those carbohydrate foods. So that's coming from your starches, your fruits, your dairy as a beverage, like the yogurts and milk, and then the sweets. Those okay. are the foods that will raise your blood sugar level. So you want to try to eat something that's not going to spike it too much, and, and then you get a big crash. Absolutely. So, so what are you going to make for us today? So today we have a recipe. It's cocoa roasted almonds. So it's going to kind of satisfy your sweet tooth with the chocolate, which mm -hmm. is high in antioxidants. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's also going to help to work with your insulin response to help with regulating your blood sugar levels. Okay. The healthy fats in the almonds help to curb that carbohydrate impact on the body. So whenever my patients have a carbohydrate, like a bread or a pasta or a sweet, I like to pair it with a protein or a healthy fat. Mm -hmm. And that kind of sits on that carbohydrate so it can't spike as rapidly. Oh, very good, mm -hmm. very good. Okay, well, let's get started. Okay, so what we have here is one egg white that I've already separated over break. So we're just going to whisk that together to kind of create a nice foam. And as you get that going, we're just kind of going to let it... There. Yeah, yeah, sure. We're there just going to let it thicken a little bit. And then we're going to add in um, three tablespoons, and this is just a raw cocoa powder. So this is going to be really high in antioxidants. Unsweetened, okay. right. And I'm using agave, um, agave nectar as my sweetener in this recipe. And this is a low glycemic sweetener. So basically, it's derived from the uh, cactus, and mm -hmm. it's uh, very kind of oopy goopy. It's mucilaginous, and so it kind of moves slowly. Oopy goopy, yeah. Right. <laughs> it moves slowly through the body, so instead of spiking like maple syrup Isn't or. What flavor tequila with? It, it is okay. uh, actually. That yeah. I know. Yeah. So um, although tequila will raise your blood sugar levels, but the agave nectar is going to be <laughs> low glycemic, so that'd be a good choice. Okay. Um, so we're just going to mix together the cocoa powder, the egg foam and the agave into a nice liquid paste here. And then I'm going to stir it into my almonds. And these are just, uh, these are raw? These are almonds, raw. Are nope, these are raw because we're okay. going to roast it into the oven. Oh, okay. So then I'm just mixing together this mixture into my almonds here. That'd be kind of fun for a kid to do. It too. sure would. Nice and messy. It is. It it's is. You could use your hands goopy. if you want. All right. Goopy goopy for everyone. And then you're just going to kind of spread it out. I have parchment paper down for easy cleanup. And we're going to spread it into our pan and bake it in the oven at 350 for about 8 to 10 minutes. So we're just going to spread those out into okay. a thin layer. And then at the end, I like to sprinkle them with sea salt. I love that mixture of salty and sweet. Absolutely. Love it. So that's that. And uh, just FYI, this recipe is available on HoustonTexasFood.com. And, uh, you know, as you've been talking, we, uh, we had some information that we wanted to share with folks just about the, some of the risk factors and complications sure. associated with diabetes because we just want to make sure everybody knows how, really how serious it is and, and why you have to keep such a close eye on it. Absolutely. Um, so this would be something you could eat as a snack with uh, just between meals. Right. So I try to encourage my patients to eat every three to four hours. Like I was saying, when we don't eat, then we rely on our liver to make sugar for our body. Mm -hmm. And so when we're looking at diabetic control, we look at our fasting blood sugar, which is how our body body managed while we slept. That's mm -hmm. looking at that liver function. And then also the, the reads after meals, two hours after meals, to see how our insulin response worked based on the food choices we made. Okay. Can I try some? Because you know that's always what I like to do with yep. Allie's stuff. And it's always really yummy, too. Not you know, the raw ones, but these are the, oh, these <laughs> are, these are the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the ready-made kitchen magic. Okay, yes. <laughs> so let me taste one here. And you could sweeten them up a little bit mm. more. 
Okay. Let's put a little bit of vanilla in there. I taste the, some of the salt that was on there. Yeah, yeah. And it's good. It has like a chocolate essence, but it's not like, uh, you know, fatty. Right. I think it's a really great kind of 3.30, 4 o'clock snack to get okay. you through your chocolate craving in the middle of the day. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Allie. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep everybody healthy out there. Absolutely. Especially considering there are so many diabetics.